Hello and welcome to my 24 tutorial. In this tutorial we will be making a simple game that's gonna be called Cross the Road. It's a similar game to the popular Android and iOS game Cross the Road and um, an old school Frogger game. So it will not be that advanced as this is a simple tutorial that will involve only console and characters. So it should be pretty simple and straightforward to follow. So let's get started. In the previous tutorial we used Vector and now we're going to use another interesting uh, um, uh, library from the standard template li libraries and that's DEC but first let's create our basic um, basic class for the game so let's say C game and the general game class will uh, will actually have a few um, few functions in itself and those are the standard functions like draw, which will draw the game. The other one will be input, which will handle uh, the input of the game. Uh, and the third one, the most important one, is the logic, so which will actually handle the logic if some, something collides with. So the, the basic of the game is um, that you have a character that needs to cross a few lanes uh, and not get hit by a car. So um, the cars can go either to the right or to the left in each lane. So we will also implement that. And uh, when we created these functions, let's say that they're public, so they can be accessed. Now also we, we would need a function. We don't need it actually, but we can add it. And let's call the function run. So, we can create our loop there and call all the all these three functions. Uh, let's create a private variable that will be boolean. Sorry, uh, it will be called quit. So it will indicate if we should we should terminate the loop. So we will say in the run functions while not quit. So while the player hasn't exited the game, we run the input function. We run the draw function. And then we'll run the logic function. Okay, um, so now as, as I've told you, uh, the game should be like this. So you have a player. Um, it will be, for example, we. He starts at the top and the cars are going through lanes. So like, mm, like that, sorry. I, I can't copy this that easy. And you need to cross actually between the lane and to go to the finish without getting hit by a car. So we also, as you can see from the from uh, from my idea, we need another class that will be actually the player, for example. So let's say C player. Uh, sorry. And the player, uh, the player will essentially essentially have its co its coordinates and I will make them public for easier understanding. So we'll have X and Y, that will be his position on the map. And we'll have a constructor, constructor uh, which will uh, have a one parameter called width. And this will get uh, clearer in a few seconds, but the width is actually the width of the map. So um, how many spaces do we have? Um, for the player to pass. So we will uh, set the basic starting position of the player with divided by two, meaning that the player will be um, in the middle on X axis and the Y axis will be zero. So the player will be starting at the top of the map. So he will be going from the top to the bottom in order to cross the road. Okay, so we handled our player class. And now let's go to the lane class. So the lane class is actually one lane which will contain the vehicles that are passing through. So the idea behind the lane class um, is to uh, is to have um, a, a list of cars that will be randomly generated. And each time a car passes um, to the end of on the right side or on the left side of the map, it will get destroyed and another car will be put put back in its place, but on the starting of the road, so um, let's uh, let's actually uh, let's actually um, create um, how can I say a basic 
a basic container for, for our cars. So we need to use deck for this. And uh, deck is a similar thing to vector. So let's say private. And um, to use deck, we need to include it up here, as you can see. So we say deck. And we actually specify the type. And this way, uh, deck will be type boolean. And why boolean? Because uh, we will indicate the whole lane will be will be actually um, actually a series of dots. And those dots uh, those dots will be either um, true or false. True meaning that there's car in that position, and false meaning that there's nothing there. The player can pass through there. So that's why we we do it like that. And now let's actually uh, create a public public um, region and in a public region we will we will add our uh, constructor so C lane so let's fill the cars deck with some values so in order to do that we also need the width of the map as we specified it on the uh, on the player so we will pass the width and we'll say for int i is equal to zero while i is less than width so we go through all elements of the deck and we will populate the deck now so we will add cars to the deck so let's say cars dot push front so we will push in the front of the deck as deck is not um, is not like uh, a vector so you can push only on the back deck is for example uh, when you have a list one two three four five six uh, this will be the front of the deck this will be the back of the deck so you can push either elements here or you can push elements here also you can pop them from the back or you can pop them from the front so you can use those functions so let's push an element and let's initialize it to false so we'll actually say that there are no cars in the lane so the whole the whole width of the lane will be pushed uh, with false so no cars will be at the beginning of the game in the lane okay so we have our lane now and now we need to create a function that will actually shift the cars so let's 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 create that uh, and the function will be called move. So let's say void move. As we don't need to return anything. And the move function will essentially essentially shift the cars in the array. So um, let's, uh, let, uh, let's do it like this. Uh, in order for not to make it um, go too fast, we need to randomize it. So we will say if um, a random number is generated in this region and if it's one then we will actually move move the car so we will say we will say cars dot push front as you can see and we will push um, we will push a car if we get one else we will push we will push again on the front but we will uh, we will actually say false, sorry, and false because we don't want to, we don't want the car in that position. And also, in order for, uh, for the deck not to increase, so for example, if you have cars like this, uh, um, zero is a space, so zero, 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 uh, one is a car, like this, and in each step, this is the first step, on the second step, the car will move actually here, on the third step, the car will actually move here, and on the on the fourth step it will actually be like this so it will it will it will actually go out of the um, out of the the loop but um, the push front the push front actually adds zeros at the beginning but if if the number is one if we get one in this range then a car could appear for example here and th that car will be then moved there as you can see so that's the idea behind the the moving of the cars so we actually have the the pushing of the cars now and we need to we need to actually pop the last car from from the end of the array so as i as i said we have uh, this array for example uh, no not array this deck for example and if we actually add a car to the beginning for example it's it's a one here then the deck will be actually extended but we need to remove this element from the back so we will say cars dot pop back 
and this will actually remove the last element so we have the same number of elements and it, it, it actually creates a moving illusion like that so we actually have it like this but the last element because of the popping will be removed so I think uh, I hope you 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 understood how the move function will work and the final thing that we need to do in the in the lane function is to check the position if on a specific position there's a car uh, we need to uh, we need to get the value of that because we use the boolean for cars we can just create a boolean function that will be called check position or check pos for shorter and we will indicate the position with the int and let's just return the position of the car so you, we can we can just do it like this so sorry it's pos not i and as you can see we will get a car from specific position so if you have cars like uh, 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the 0 1 2 3 4 and if we if we check the position of 3 we will get true if you check the position of, of 2 we will get false like here so it will actually essentially uh, get an element from a specific index from the deck it's similar to accessing an array and and the vector also as I told in the previous tutorial so uh, this actually enables us to have a fully functional lane in the game. Um, so now let's test um, let's test the lane function. So let's create a lane. We'll call it lane one in order for you to see how it works. And we will set the the width to be, for example, 10, 10, 10 units. And um, in order to print it to show it to the user let's um, create a function that will go to for example 20 and I plus plus and this will print the lane by doing by doing the following so if um, lane one dot check position if it's at, at the current position true then we will just print print this else we will just print, uh, or rather, let's print ones and zeros, so it will be easier for you to to notice the difference. So ones and zeros. So we print the line now, and we can also we can also move. So let's say lane one dot move, and now let's print again the lane, and we also need to initialize as we said that there's 20 positions so the width should be 20 here sorry and lane one uh, lane one should move also and we called already that so let's try and see if you, c you could see the car so there was one but we didn't break the line so let's let's uh, add the break before the move so and line. As you can see on the first on the first one there were no cars. On the second one there there was one car at the beginning. So if we actually now moved a few times, let's say move it like this, and then let's move it a few more times, and then print it again. And I forgot to add a new line again. <laughs> Sorry. So we we actually skip essentially skip a few steps and then print the output. As you can see, this car moved right here. So that's the basic how how it will work. But we'll replace the zeros with the spaces and ones with the hashtags, so it will be easier to simulate cars. So um, this is all for this tutorial. In the next part, we will continue making the game. So stay tuned and please continue watching the tutorial. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you in the next part.